Well, I have something to share to you guys. Which I'm sad. Who will be visiting us this week? Wait, who is that? Oh. Who is that? Erin Babs. She's bringing her studio this weekend. Uh, we can't wait to go up against the ALDC again this weekend. We're ready to kick some Pittsburgh booty. Ooh, watch out, Abby. This competition is extremely important. We're going back up against the studio that beat us once here. And that is never going to happen again. This week, we are traveling to Riverside, California to attend World Class Talent Experience. All right, group dance. The group routine is called The Rose Garden. It's contemporary. It's a bit dark. We did that we well. well. You yeah. know every rose has its thorns. Like, she's telling the story. And there's this nuance of negativity, and it's eerie and dark. Whenever Judge is watching you, you need to be amazing. The Rose Garden is the name of the group routine this week. It's very precise. It's very sharp. Because the thorn is sharp. You hit it, you get pricked. You come up against this routine, you get pricked. Maddie, keep your back straight. If I'm going to attract the caliber of students that I want when I open in LA, then we have to beat the other dance studio. That looks funny on you. So it's called the Rose Garden, and the big, long, giant nails and the thorns. These nails are insane. Hopefully someone doesn't lose an eye on this dance. OK. All right, let's see what we have. since we've been back in LA, and it's against MDP, and the girls cannot lose. We have to walk in like we own the place. Did they really write that? Really? You can bet that MDP, they want to throw us off our game so they can kick our booty again. Well, guess what? It's not going to happen. Would you ever set foot in someone else's dressing room and write on their mirrors? I wouldn't do that, never. However, the message was nothing derogatory or negative. I've seen much worse going into our dressing room. Marietta is confident they are beating the ALDC. They're all over Facebook writing about you all. Who said that? Who said that? I just got a message on Twitter. Our children would get in so much trouble. Right. As they should right. if they went on social media and, and said crap like that. Like, what is wrong with them? Please welcome from the Abby Lee Dance Company, the Rose Garden. If my girls don't give this routine everything they've got, we could be in trouble. Can you tell what the devil said? When he turned down your prayer Can you feel what the mother felt When she let down her hair It's the garden of good and evil that we say It's the highway of endless choices where we go by way Shut your eyes to the sun 
it will shine through your mind if you leave everything behind everything's what you'll find you're not alone what you're looking for but it's not here anymore your love is wasted in a thousand ways and it's a garden When he turned down your head. My girls nailed it. Take that. Please welcome the Murrieta Dance Project. Have a good night. We're amazing. I think we're in trouble. Last but not least, we have our highest scoring small group category in the advanced division. Third overall. At number 79, passing through time. Third place. Who's kicking whose booty now? And our first overall in the junior small group category. Number 76, The Rose Garden. One of the biggest wins this team has ever had. I'm so excited for them. This week we are going to fierce talent competition in Calabasas. So we don't know who's going to be there, what studios, but we know one. MDP is going to be there. <laughs> ah. 
This week at competition, we go against MDP again. We won the last time, but MDP won the very first time we competed against them. So this week defines who is going to be the champion at this point. We want the winning record. It blows my mind that we lost last time to the same routine that she's been doing year end and year out. I know that it is 100% important for me to bring it and even step it up 10 times more. Are you gonna lose again? No! We're gonna come out harder and stronger. I'm gonna put more tricks, more style. I'm gonna show everybody that we are a force to be reckoned with. Abby is not. So the name of our routine this week, our group routine, is Monster Under the Bed, okay? Who do you guys think the monster is? Abby! OK, absolutely. Oh. So what we're going to do in this routine is show people that you might see her as a monster, but she's nothing more than kind of a joke sometimes, is what I think. As far as solos go, Kaylee, you are going to have the solo this week. Yay! I need you guys to really work yourselves in the next few days. We need to be on our A-plus game. Do you understand? Sir, yes, sir! Kind of like you're asking the person, that voice in your head, what would you have me do? Should I sit around and wait? Should I, you know, you're asking these voices in your head, what am I doing? So Mackenzie, we're gonna put the music on and I want you to improv what you feel to this music. And let me see your faces in the mirror. What would you have me do? Sit here and wait for you to come back, come back. This week, we're up against some stiff competition and we need something that is stellar out there on stage. And I hope that Mackenzie is mature enough with her facial expressions to let the judges know this is my story. This will be our third time going against MDP. One time we won, one time we lost. And so the last time we won, so you know we have a target on our back. Abby really wants to put her best foot forward. I thought your dancing was good. You started off with bang. It was pretty, very pretty for you. I never saw her face change once. She's put in Kinsey's head. Right. I don't know if you can do the dance. Yeah. Sure I'm not right. sure about this. Mm -hmm. Why don't you start with some pop? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Like, mm -hmm. Let's see what you mm -hmm. can do with this. Mm -hmm. I think you can do it. Go for it. She doesn't finish her lines. She chops everything off. Are you going to be able to handle this? Can you hit the floor and back chest row from there? Come on, I, don't, I can't teach somebody that's doing the special part every little nuance. You need to take it to the next level and not be a little girl. Are you guys nervous um, that we're going against MDP? Um, I mean, we beat them before, so. I saw yesterday they had a 12-hour rehearsal. Yeah, I saw that. 12 hour? Who rehearses for 12 hours? You can't try to psych us out. Can I give you, like, a little word of advice? They're flashy dancers. They're going to come out, and they're going to turn, and they're going to be ba-boom. They're going to have these little fancy costumes. You don't have that. What you do have that they don't is classic, old world, um, I don't know. They're not you guys. Well, thanks, Mom. I thought Abby's pep talks were bad. Hers pretty bad. <laughs> Here we go. This is your special doll. This is your monster. Who do we think the monster is? Abby! Is this scary? No. This is not scary. My girls do not need to be afraid of Abby. We train harder. We work harder. We're going to show that Abby's soft, slow style is nothing to be afraid of, and it cannot compete with our West Coast style. One, two, three, and hit. One, bigger, 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 bigger. Crazy, you're scared looking under the bed. Five, seven, and hut, hut, hut. Come on, bigger. Facing. And in, point. Get back to center. OK, good. Let's work on that ending. Can we borrow Abby really quick? She's almost ready. Here you go. The Abby doll is perfect, right down to her rhinestone bling bracelet from 1982. The only difference is that the doll is quiet, and we can only hope 
that Abby is quiet as well. Are you scared of this, Abby? No. no. Go put Abby under the bed where she belongs. Here we go. Two, three, eyes Mackenzie, no eyes. Six, seven, they're still on the ground. Mackenzie is physically performing the lead great, but her face, her eyes don't move, her head doesn't move, her smile never changes. It's just this poignant kind of pensive stare. This win is way too important for this kid to not be at her best body and your shoulders are trying to do it, but your eyes are still always down. It was this. It was that dip, pull away. Everybody made that big and powerful, and yours was little and nothing. I don't think Abby likes it very much. Look at Maddie. Her whole body's connected. Watch. Bah! It's beautiful. I'm not saying you do that. I'm saying you do quick. You chop your movements off. So can we try Maddie as the lead right now? And let me see it. All right, let's do that. What would you have me do? Sit here and wait for you to come back, come back and say I need you in my life. What would you have me say? On oh, myself today with the absence of your love. All right. Ah. Uh... There is no way that Mackenzie's gonna do that part. No way. Maddie, you are the lead. I don't know. Are you going to put up with that? Maddie would be the perfect lead for this because of the faces that she just did in the hey. Sia video. And, and we all know that. Does it bother Kenzie, the favoritism? I love my daughters both the same. I don't favor anybody. I mean, but she's then why always don't so... You, why don't you stick up for Ken? I'm not the teacher. I'm not the choreographer. I'm not Abby. Of course you're So not. I can't yeah. go in there and say, Abby, you're mean, and um, Mackenzie can do this. Give her the roll back. No, that's oh, ridiculous. Oh There's sisters. I don't One care. One sister took it from another sister. So I'm sad. A I'm such a bad mom. No one's saying that. But, We're but saying I'm it's saying. sad for Kenzie. I mean, I handle things differently than you. I mean, it is what it is. I'm sick of the moms telling me what to do. Abby knows best, and you have to put your best foot forward. Our girls have to win this week, period. I mean, we can't have a loss against MDP. What's OK about a teacher giving something to a, a child man. and taking it away for no reason? If it's really none of your business. Maddie, yeah, that's ridiculous. I just think you I should think stick up for Mackenzie. I mean, whatever. Go to hell. Do you think anybody's hiding in our curtains? Maybe it's Christy. Is Abby under there? She wouldn't fit under there. What happened? We just need a moment. We need a moment. OK. I'm not standing underneath this. Welcome to our world. It's not all glamorous. There she is. Hello. Hi, how are you? Abby, we have something for you. Can we please come and bring it in? You don't need to get me gifts, please. Just let me get it. Hold on. Bring it to the new studio. We'll be having a grand opening. When is that? All right. Oh, there it is. Oh. That's really oh. a nice, positive thing you're doing, right? We are. Making friends with the monster. That's so rude. She's been nothing but rude since she's gotten here. Well, anyways, it was just giving you a hint to our dance this week. We kind of... Because that's really nice. So what I was saying is, I'm sick of this. But we had the girls write stuff on balloons, net, like things that were maybe. Wow. Okay, bye. Get out. Get out. Yeah, See you later. later. What happens that? It's Sesame Street. They can count. They're just trying to get us to come out. This is what I feel like we should do. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Your teacher's gonna get mad at me, but frankly, I don't care. You don't act this way backstage. Noxious. 
Let's go, guys. And the other thing is, you should never, ever, ever jump on cement. It baffles me that kids who take from dance teachers who supposedly work professionally in the business act like complete morons backstage. You girls better be amazing because I just told that teacher that her kids were obnoxious. All right, girls, think about the number. Think about the story that you have to convey to the, your audience. I moved Mackenzie because this piece was not for her. And I am not trying to shove Maddie down your throats. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go out there and win. I have to stand behind what I say, you guys, and all I keep saying is how amazing you are. And if you do not stand up for what I believe you are, it's not gonna be good for us on Monday. It is like imperative that we win. We're one and one with MDP. They think they're all that. They think they're so much better than our kids. And you know what? We need to prove them wrong. Up next, number 67, Monster Under the Bed. Kids are good. I just hope that our group dance has what it takes to win against MDP. Next up, number 66, Voices in My Head. What would you have me do? Sit here and wait for you to come back, come back and say I need you in my life. What would you have me say on oh, myself today with the absence of your love cutting through me like a knife bringing your eyes to mine asking me one more time I can't go back go back I need something to believe ran to an open space Promised myself today I'm gonna get back, get back Who I am and what I need It's never felt like this before I'm gonna let it out, let it break me down Let it go, let it flow Till I hear the sound of hope That voice inside saying You're gonna give it another try So let it out, let it break you down and turn around, cause that's how we begin again. Let it out so you can let it in. Oh, can't stop the wind from changing. We hold on to tiny truths. We hold on. So let it out, let it break you down. Breathe it in, breathe it out, and turn we begin again, let it out so you can let it in. The 
group dance was amazing. By putting Maddie in, I think our girls nailed it. But, you know, it's what the judges like. Next up, top three groups. It is so important to win today because of Erin Babs. We need to shut her up. In third place, number 20, rule the world. I think our kids are better than MDP. We'll see what the judges like. Do they like technique or do they like the flash? In second place. Number 66, voices in my head. Give it up. Second. I can't stand being second. In first place. Number 67, Monster Under My Bed. I do not agree with the judges this week. I mean, from the soloist to the group number, I don't agree. Hey, did it. What's again? Good too. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, you guys. That was very entertaining. I thought they were so different, so difficult. Yeah. Imagine. Just like the solos today. Yeah. And congrats on the solo. You. You're welcome. I heard you drop the F bomb when your daughter started dancing. Huh? Your mother in law's not real thrilled with the way you talk. Oh, yeah, she is. She's fine with it. <laughs> your mom must be real proud of you, too, Abby. My mom's dead. came in because this was getting awkward real fast. Girls, I'm proud of you. I thought you looked beautiful. I do think you were ripped off. All they had was flash. Their group was flashy. Hi, guys. We're leaving you with our parting gift. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's your bracelet. That's so cute. And it's your doll. Oh Congratulations, well, everyone. We'll see you. Hope to see you soon. Who comes in the dressing room and gives you the prop from their dance? Like, But you know what? You can sit and talk about it all day but they beat you. That's it. Two losses in a row. This is not how I wanted to return to Los Angeles. If these girls don't get it together, they're going to join that long line of broken dreams on Hollywood Boulevard. You need to be that kid that nobody beats. Let's go. Well, I think it goes back to Abby saying she wanted Maddie to be in the dance because she thought it was the best foot forward. And once again, I think it goes to show that sometimes our vision of best foot forward is not going to match the judge's eyes of the best foot forward. I would love for Mackenzie to be a lead, just like you would love your kids to be a lead. But Abby switched it up, and I can't choose. But you still have to advocate for your kid. Who's to say if you didn't storm in or oh, say always. Abby? No, yeah. who's to say Abby didn't realize Gosh, maybe this really is important to Melissa and Mackenzie. She and it would less. be. Who knows? Maybe the judges would have loved Mackenzie as the lead of the group dance. But we will never well, know I that. You can do what you want with your kid, just like I'm going to do with my kid. I don't really need people to tell me what to do with my children. So, Fallon, say hello to the girls. And this is her mother, Cheryl. And they are from uh, near Orlando, Florida. Can you tell us a few things about yourself? I won four titles and first overalls for a lot of them. This week, we will be traveling to Toledo, Ohio to attend Intensity Dance Competition. And you all know what Ohio means. Rotten apples. We're trying to be undefeated 10 times in a row. Can you imagine what your life's going to be like if you don't beat her? You'll all be doing a group routine. It's entitled Red with Envy. Now, Mackenzie, it's a mature piece. So you're going to join us for the choreography, but I think you could maybe miss this dance. This routine is a contemporary piece. It's strong. It's athletic. Everybody needs to be on their toes. We are going against Kathy for our 10th victory in a row, and I'm going to make her red with envy. The group dance this week is called The Last Dance, and it's a little more solemn than what we're used to. It is about abandonment, and I want the dancers to really perform as if this is the last time that they ever dance. And quite frankly, if they don't win, it could be. Bye -bye. 
Okay, now do that again. again. See, to me, that's ridiculous that you guys can kick clear up there, yet what you're giving us is here. And if you think that all you're ever gonna hear is wonderful comments, that's not how life is. Being number two is not the spot we want. Competition day is coming up fast, and I had really hoped to be further along than we really are. These kids better turn it around quick if we're gonna beat Abby. Land that bigger! Your fourth is too tight. Fallon's really having a rough time. She can't pick up on the choreography like our kids. Abby wants someone that comes in and that is better than our girls. This is not the kid. I don't think Fallon is helping the team. I think she may hurt the team. She's doing a phenomenal job for how little she has been in the thing. The judges right. don't know that. All eyes are going to be on her because she's the new kid on the block and nobody knows who she is. She deserves a shot, a chance. You've had her for two days. That's it. Are you crying? I I'm upset. You're insulting my daughter. I'm insulting you. It's embarrassing. Okay, so listen, everybody. I want to see their dance before our dance. You, you want to see Abby's dance? I yes, want to see Abby's dance before our dance. I'm tired of having second best. But what does it teach the kids to say, if you're not going to win and you're going to take second, then don't dance? Like, how, what does that teach them? Well, I am going to make the decision, and I am going to call the shots on this one. Girls, you have done nine wins in a row. Will this be 10? Fallon, you can't be a beat behind. Silence can be so cruel. I laugh for the words I can't find. You left it behind like the last broken glass on the floor. And I'm aching to be free from these riddles and from these monsters of rage for some. Outstanding. The number was excellent. Our kids danced great. They pulled it off. It appears that they can win, but Candy Apples haven't danced yet, and we're waiting and waiting, and there's a lull. Let's go, let's go. And nothing's happening. Okay, so guys, listen to me. I know that you guys love this dance, and I know that you've worked hard. I don't feel like this dance is ready. We're gonna have to get back in the studio the following week and work it out. And Kathy decides to pull her kids from the competition. Well, like, the choreographer wants to do it, and all the kids want to do it, too. But Kathy's saying that it's not clean enough, and they need one more week to do it. The fact that Kathy wouldn't even let her group dance perform this week against us just goes to show that Kathy is far bigger of a coward than I ever knew. Rather than risk the loss, she threw in the towel. Okay, Kathy, not only are you a bad dance teacher, you're a coward. So winning first overall in our elite junior small group division of competition is act number 47, Red with Envy. The kids win, they come out on top. I think ours would have beat Kathy anyway. 
intimidate me. What? Pardon me? Pardon me? Oh, don't we get posh? You don't even know how to stand. What? And you want to teach kids how to dance? You know how to stand? Yes, I do. Oh, Stop. You can't even get down into a chair. Kids. You're Still out to nothing. lunch. Shut the door. This time we're going to Canton, Ohio. Uh. We are going to the apple orchard. Oh, this week we're doing a routine called Frost. You think it's sweet and beautiful and this stunning lyrical piece, but underlying there's this nuance of something frightening, something eerie, and that's what I love about the music. The group dance this week is called The Last Dance, and Aaron Babs came two weeks ago and did the choreography. There were things that I saw that I want to change, so at the last minute, I withdrew the dance from the competition. Get your leg way up. I know it can go so much higher when you do that. It was a strategic move. Finally, I have what it takes to beat Abby Miller. Thank you for coming on this weather. Woo! Welcome to Canton, Ohio, ladies. This is our stomping ground. Come on, Mom. Here we are back at World Class Talent Competition in Canton, Ohio. Yes. She has every student, every former student, everybody that she could uh, pay, I guess, to come here to watch her kids lose again. But I am not gonna let Kathy get to me today. There is no way. We are going for our 12th victory in a row. Hi, Frank. Hi, Kathy from Candy Apples Dancing. I just wanted to welcome you to this beautiful theater. It's kind of chilly in here. So I would love for you to do the honors of wearing a candy apple jacket for us. Would you do that? Thank you so much, and thanks for having us. Why didn't you bring the jean jacket for him? With all the rhinestones? What do you have to say for Kathy? She has no shame. It's like, here you go, bribe the judge. Candy apples rule. Next up is act number 108. Please welcome to the stage, Lucas, Zach, Mackenzie, Gavin, and Nick.
nervous because the stars aren't aligning in our favor. And this might be the end of our winning streak. Please welcome to the stage Maddie, Chloe, Mia, Kendall, Mackenzie, and Kalani. can't hear the music. The crowd is screaming, and I don't think that they can hear the beginning of their song. The thing that burns me up the most Is how I tried to do the right thing Cause I crossed that line A line reserved for angels Once you cross that line Forgiveness comes at the highest cost Frost That's the beginning! Nobody could hear me, so I had to feel early. Honey, you're empty. I, I missed my turn. It's our turn. We're gonna get killed. I think they didn't hear the music, but it's okay. It's I feel like we're being set up this whole day. It's fine. The girls couldn't hear the music. I don't know if this is gonna be good enough to beat the candy apples. Second overall goes to Act 108, The Last Dance. And our first overall goes to Act 109. We did it again. The Abbey Lee Dance Company beat you at your own game in your own town. You even tried to bribe the judges. It doesn't matter what you do, when, how, why, the Abbey Lee Dance Company is going to beat you. That was truly Kathy's last dance. Jill, why didn't you say that when we were standing there in front of them? To be honest, not your fault, but really hard to be happy and clap hands for always losing. Hey, we got second, but all, all I know is that we were better than them, so. The emotion, oh my god, your emotion on the yeah, circle, really your good. reaches? Yeah, that was Oh, really they were good. beautiful. That blows my mind. Day one of our LA adventure, we get to the studio, we're not a single foot in the door, and Abby already is throwing a tantrum. Walked in and there was a dance class going on in a teacher rehearsal. She can't go in the studio, she's having a temper tantrum, she storms out, the kids are left here high and dry. Is this what we came all the way out here for? Abby can have temper tantrums back in Pittsburgh. Where is Abby? Just running around doing things. So Abby did not show up to rehearsals at all this week. Are you coming? Actually, there's some stuff happening at home, so I might have to fly out tonight. I don't know how that Oh, you might be flying home tonight? Yes. She basically has abandoned the team. We arrive in LA and Abby is gone. I left everything at home. All of us did. Our family, our friends, our studio. We followed Abby's dream. We came all the way out here to make things happen and Abby couldn't even show up. Abby gave me one solo, and it's gonna go to Maddie. You know, it's awesome that I got a solo, but Abby has still not shown up, and I'm starting to get worried. One, two. My love of God's creatures, it is 
It's only men who kill With the venom strong enough To melt the food upon the hill I'm walking down the street. You're homeless. You're asking me to help you, okay? I'm not helping you, so you, you react to it. Maddie's solo is about the plight of a child living on the streets. Maddie's really good at the acting portion of her solos. Even though Abby's not there, my Maddie's a perfectionist, and she wants everything to be perfect. I hope it's good enough to beat these amazing kids in L.A. You have to be on your A-game today, OK? You guys are all soldiers. You know how it works. So, Talia, I need to know that you're going to be able to battle whatever comes in front of you. Maddie's done a lot of amazing things. She just was on Sia's video. And here you are. You've been in the limelight for so many years. And this is all the things that she's getting when I consider you a stronger dancer. This is your time to show the world that she's not the only one like that. This weekend, I've chosen Talia to do a solo. And push, leg up, squeeze your glutes. Do not let that leg drop. Spot sharper. She is one of my most consistent dancers. She trains 20 to 25 hours every single week, killing herself in the studio. Your face was gorgeous. I could see your eyes. You were performing. Talia hasn't competed against Maddie, but Talia is a stronger dancer. She's a stronger competitor, and she's been in LA competing for years. Talia is going to win. OK, come on. Walk towards the door, Ken. Yeah. Abby, you're not going to come out. I, I, I want to see how soon are they running. I brought my makeup and everything to do. I just did her costume all morning. I appreciate you, your hard work. And you know, we love when you're here. And I don't like when you're not here. So I just wanted to tell you that. It is quite bizarre behavior for Abby to act like this. And I am a little worried. I think that, of course, Maddie is nervous. LA is one of the hardest places to compete. This is Talia performing Letting Go. Letting go! The little girl, Talia, was amazing. I don't know, I'm speechless. Please welcome to the stage, this is Maddie performing All God's Creatures. Among all of God's creatures, 
It is only men who kill With the venom strong enough To melt the fool upon the hill Who is eager just to watch And offer infinite advice As he slips into the liquid of his own Self-sacrifice Creatures, it is only men who seize upon friendship and devotion as if they were the disease to be cured and violated, whitewashed and despised, never wondering why the heart is growing black. Creatures, it is only a man who cry. And one day, when I'm ancient, I will look at you and sigh as I sink into the places where I wish I could have been. As I slip beneath the surface of your soft and wrinkled skin. Maddie was completely flawless. I just hope it was good enough to win. All right, first and foremost, we have overall solos for the entire day. His second place. Entry number 24 with Fragile Forest. And in first place, we've got Number 26, Maddie with All God's Creatures. Maddie got a perfect score, and Talia didn't make it in the top five. We have one more week, and we're going to nationals. This weekend, we will be attending Dance Kids USA in Anaheim, California. Now remember, this is the kid judges. We're going in front of judges that are children. That scares the crap out of me because kids can be cruel. The group routine. I've named this piece Made in the Shade. We will be using parasols. Nia, you realize that you are not in the group routine. I'm doing my new video on Thursday. And it's okay if you're not in the group if something comes up and... Right. Okay, cool. Okay. I don't get it. When Kinsey was filming something for a Nickelodeon show and was out for a period of time but was still allowed to be in a group dance, Abby made allowances for that. If you want to do that and you want to do this, something's got to give. So I don't want to hear anything about putting me in the group. This is the plan. Do we get it? There's a lot of work to be done. Made in the shade. This umbrella is shading you from reality. It is shading you from a secret. So it's almost as if it's a play on words and it's made in the shade like we know your secret. Okay, go ahead. This being the last competition before nationals, I want to do something that's pretty on stage. I am giving them what they do best a beautiful lyrical routine with pretty girls in spectacular costumes. That's what people want to see on stage at a dance competition. Clean lines, a nice stretched leg, a good foot. So that's what we're doing. OK, there's three umbrellas that are inside out already. Look at Maddie's. Maddie's is already broke. Maddie's umbrella just, like, sucked itself in. Abby's track record's not so good for using props. One more week 
week and it's our nationals and Abby gives us these janky umbrellas? Like, are you kidding me? This is our last day of group rehearsal and my concern is that these umbrellas are falling apart. And you know, we can't have that on stage and expect to win. Abby, what do you think? Should we put dowels in them? Putting wooden dial rods in there is gonna change the weight of the umbrella and it's gonna completely throw the dance off. Okay, we'll play with it. We're gonna have to figure out a way to make these cheap umbrellas that aren't made for dancing work for our dancers. We're screwed. This is the fourth time we're meeting up with MDP since we've been in LA. And this time, it really matters. One, so we can even the score as far as rival to rival, but also so we go into nationals victorious. One, lower, two, and three. Get yourself completely warmed up, guys. It's 85 degrees outside, and your kids are down on the floor doing push-ups. It's insane. Why a teacher would promote that, I'll never know. Hi, good afternoon. We came here to win. I don't want one distraction. I don't even know any of their kids' names. None of them stand out. What do you say? All your kids look the same to me. All of our kids look the same? Yeah, they look like cousins. So, <laughs> how do you guys think LA has been working out for you on the competition side as far as statistics are concerned? I'm just sure you have something to say about that, Jill. Does it matter to you? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Why? Because you keep Trust acting me. like you're so you're superior. Right. This is supposed to be about dance, and there's not a lot of dance going on anymore. Triple threat, singing, acting, dancing. That's why I brought the team to LA. It just sounds very pretentious. You guys are all in it for the money now. Don't you dare say that. Don't talk about my career. You don't know any of my children. You don't know anything about the Tony Awards and this and that. But how many of them are not on Broadway that have wasted their time at your studio? How many of them are not on Broadway that stand a little taller, that speak a little clearer? Hmm, how many? A lot, sweetheart, a lot. Because that's what dance does for a child. I don't know about your child, because I don't know if it was you. Yesterday, we all took it amongst ourselves and taped up these umbrellas. So hopefully, we don't have any issues. OK, are we ready? You are the Abby Lee Dance Company. You shouldn't lose. OK, let's go. Please welcome this small group to the stage with last one standing. Here they come, one by one, and the light grows dim. Ones who would take you down, and I'm moving out. They're closing in. It's out of the trenches. I'll drag my body one more time. Right to the final push and hold the line. I'll be the last one.
This time, it really matters. So we go into nationals victorious. I'd love to go into nationals with a win. I'd love to be a strong team walking in. We really, really need to win the competition. And first overall, goes to act number 69, Made from the Shade. Congratulations, girls. What studio do you go to? We needed this win, and I'm just so thankful that it's up against MDP. So they can go march their butts back to their studio and work out harder. This is all really happening. We're excited. Yay. Come on. Thank you. Hi. 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 Thank you, guys. We just amazing. wanted to welcome you to MDP. Thank and these you. are gonna be the girls that you're dancing with. Awesome. All right, you guys, we gotta start rehearsal. So how about we get back inside, okay? Let's do this. Hey, Liz, what are you up to? It's Christy. I just want you to know that Chloe is down at MDP. Oh, oh, so you're at MDP? This week, Chloe's back dancing. Where are you competing this weekend? Fierce. We're going to Fierce in Panorama City. Um, that's where we're gonna be. She's no longer welcome at the ALDC, so I did some studio shopping. Not helping Jill, shopping. She had to find a new team. Thank you guys, Christy. I wanted to tell Chloe, we want to present you with your very own M Dance Project jacket. Thank you. You, you deserve it, you earned it. I feel like you will own it. Who's a studio hopper now? Just saying, Chloe, because your mom beat the crap out of me over Wait, that. except <laughs> Chloe danced at one studio for 12 years and left because no one had my back. Who's this lady in the red jacket? Oh. Christy? She, she was, was on our team. Chloe is. She left. And that's so good. A long time ago. A really long time ago. Like a really, really long time ago. Excuse me. My daughter danced with Abby since she was two, and unfortunately, when I left, not everyone was all that supportive. Oh. Got it. We knew you had to leave. You had really? to leave. Why did I have to because leave? Because you could not control Abby. You had to leave. We all stuck up for you and said, no, you never did. She had to Jill, leave. you did not. How do you know? Up. You weren't there the last three years when we've been traveling around no, the world. No, but I've seen you and I've seen the things that you said on social media I, I, about. My show daughter, me what I, I said on I social know. media. I don't go on social, not social not media. I'd love to see her. But I'm not going to She doesn't go on social She never said anything. She lied. About what? She lied that she sat there and called her all summer. Not one of those girls called her except for Nia. 
Kendall. Yeah, I did. How many no, times? Yeah. Yes, she did. No, you didn't. Yes, she. Are you calling my kid a liar? I am. Well, that you're a liar. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I am not. Yes, you are. Chloe knows. Chloe knows. When Kendall texted her, did she call you before your surgery? Yes, she did. And guess what? So did I. No, you did not. Yes, I did. You're a liar. You know it. All right. Yeah. See, this is why she had to leave. That's it, right there. You had to. Take we agree. Take take okay. You're I'm not happy an OG, to. And I'm, you know I'm it. happy to take a seat You're to you, Christine. You're not an OG, Christine. and you know it. I don't care. And OG guess what? Thank okay. you. Okay. You want to make my kid cry? Do you feel good? Do you feel good about yourself? You know what? My it's kid cried at home. It's not about you, Christine. It's about the kids. My kid cried at home for three years and my because kid of your daughter. To call her. She wanted no part she of it. She didn't because call of her. you, Christine. She you didn't blocked call. all the phone calls. No, I did not. The trash took itself out and stay there. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go reverse. Don't fall for that crap. I'm not wrong. Don't, I don't know fall for that crap. Let's try to rise high and really walk in a different strut. No reaction, no reaction. Tribe, tribe, tribe. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let it settle. This is all the that Abby Lee is left for someone yes. else to clean up. This is not the way to start competition. The girls are on a winning streak, but we're going against one of our greatest rivals, MDP. And at this point, they cannot be distracted. I expect nothing less from that woman. It's frustrating. I don't think what she said about Kendall was right. I think it was below their belt. It's well, wrong. It's, it's a flat out lie. She's we're, a we're, liar. Whether it's true or not, it's wrong. We of don't talk about wrong. a child. Any adult that's 10 feet away from a 13 year old and screams at her face, she's a liar. I'm sorry. It's going to make Chris look bad for not. But she doesn't care. Here's the thing she doesn't have anything except what happened five years ago. Okay, sit up and don't cry, please. Don't let that woman do that to you. She's coming back. She's bitter because she left on her own. I know, but I don't want you to be a Jill, don't make it worse. All right. Okay, here we go, girls. Five, six, seven, eight. The group routine is titled Judgment Day. Abby Lee has created a system full of judgment. So that's why we took the idea of these programmed robots and my robot dog minis. And I'm going to reprogram them to liberate themselves. You guys are superstars, and you have no idea just how capable you are. All right, now get in the zone. We got the world to change. All right. OK, listen, the last time we went up against the ALDC, we did not bring home a victory. We need to take that back. So dance for yourself, but let's dance for Chloe. Yes? Yeah. All right, let's do this, you guys. Victory number 90, Devil's Playground.
please help me welcome entry number 89, Judgment Day. It took a wrong turn. Well, I'm here to guide you back into the ocean. You're an angel in my eyes, swimming through the skies, dancing with the stars. That is where you do belong. Don't let them tell you any different, because they don't know you. I'll tell Lily that quote. <laughs> All right, let's go into some awards. In fourth place overall, entry number 89, Judgment Day. Here's the difference. Abby does know precisely what judges want and need to see in competition dance. I really think that if Abby was here, this wouldn't have happened. And in first place, Entry number 90, Devil's Playground. I was shocked with the placement. I'm gonna tell you a secret. Anything that has to change is uncomfortable, but a part of me is frustrated because I don't ever fail. Are you gonna come back? That's, that's a golden question. Yes, because I clearly am not finished. I will be back to dominate this. I'm in this fight to win. This is not a game. 